So let's show us around your cabin 2544. It's on the deck two. Good afternoon, welcome to our house. <laughs> yeah, so this is our cabin on the Morella Discovery. We've been here, well, we're on two-week cruise on Seeking the Northern Lights. As you can see at the window where you can see the mountains there with the snow on. We're in Hastead today. Um, but anyway, we're here to show you around our cabin, which is on deck two, as I explained, 2544. We've got a double bed configuration. We've been really impressed with the size of the cabin, haven't yes, we, actually, nice, Paul? Yeah. It's, nice um, yeah, nice size. Got a little dog today, which is uh, really cute. He's a good, he's a good boy as well. He is a good boy. Oh, is that nice? Well? Yeah. So, bed's been really, really comfortable. Um, no complaints there whatsoever. And we've got some drawer space either side, and the switches for the lights to control, obviously, with all the lights in the room, which has been obviously very useful. Mirrors everywhere, as you can see. TV, which guide-wise, we've got um, some films and. You've obviously got all your cruise TV, maps, etc., which is good. And you've got your more storage here. We've got three big drawers. Interesting, I'm told people that got balcony cabins, they're saying they haven't got much storage at all. But we've got three big drawers, as you can see here. We've also got a little cupboard which has got the safe in here. Oh, safe, yeah. Yeah. Not a huge safe. Um, it doesn't fit a laptop. And an iPad's a struggle, but fine for your valuables. More space behind the mirrors and this side too so that's and then we've got some more drawers down the bottom here so we found that there's plenty of space and you can fit slim suitcases just under the under the bed, under the bed. tea and coffee facilities some nice yorkshire tea and milk and nescafe so that's not been a problem and plug wise you can see that we've got two european and two flat pin um, us so no problems with charging all your devices Telephone to contact uh, whoever you wanted to if you're travelling with a party, and the control for the temperature, um, which we've we've got right now, aren't we? Because yeah. we're, we're a bit a bit cold and then it's too hot. Large wardrobe as you just walk in, which pulls us opening there, which is um, well, loads of room. Loads of room. So. Uh, that's no problem. You've got your life jackets at the top there and our beach towels, which we haven't been using because obviously we've been cruising in October in uh, Norway. We've got a little chair here um, and we've got an adjoining door, which we're not, I don't know the people next door, but um, interestingly in um, Paul's dad and sister's cabin, there's a little sofa, um, but we haven't really used that. It's more of a hanging our bits and bobs, isn't it? So this is the bathroom which is a decent size for us. The shower has got a curtain, which is already a little pet peeve, really. But you've got a little washing line up there if you don't need to swell any smalls. Um, but but yeah, not big, you know, we're not skinny people by any means. So, um, But you've got the Clarins toiletries that are provided um, every day. And you've got more storage in here and up on the things there. So, yeah, so decent sized bathroom. We've been really pleased with our stay in here. We'd happily stay in here for a couple of months, couldn't we, Annie? It'd be no problem whatsoever. So, that's our little tour of um, cabin 2544 on the Morella Discovery. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and please ring that bell and you'll get updates on our future videos. Thanks.